this is not the first time that the parliament discusses the conflict of interest of Prime Minister Babish. We are talking about the Agrofed case not because there would be such a big disagreement in this house. No, on the contrary. However, the ball is not on our side. The Commission and the Council should act now and make up their mind. What do they want? Are they willing to tolerate this oligarchization of a member state? Prime Minister Babish and his Agrofed group have captured parts of the Czech state and its institutions. It is also about our external reputation. If we allow that the state and business interests are mixed up in one of our member states, then how can we criticize third countries? How can we demand substantial reforms from other states if we let this unlawful practice exist inside of our union for years? Andre Babish has become a billionaire with, with EU funds. So I, it wasn't a surprise that there is a risk of conflict of interest when he became a finance minister of his country seven years ago. The risk for conflict of interest got even larger when he became prime minister four years ago. The commission has now certified that, but the conflict of interest persists. So the question to Mr. Babish is, when, when are you resolving this, this conflict? When are you stepping down? When are you selling your company? Or when do you stop taking EU money so that the conflict of interest goes away? I think the, those are questions not only of the Czech citizens, but all Europeans would like some answers to those.